Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. Today I thought we'd have a break from the norm by having a look at the Hat 4 Beyonce v Simon Vielli exhibition fight. Hat 4 is 7 inches taller and 36 kilograms heavier than Simon, who normally fights as a cruiserweight and has amassed 21 fights with 17 victories, 3 losses and 1 draw. And we get things underway with round 1. This is just an exhibition fight so there were periods when there wasn't a lot of action that I've edited out of this video. Hat 4 looks in much better shape than he did against Stephen Wald, having lost over 50 kilograms since he set his 501 kilogram deadlift. And he starts out the fight in much the same way as he did against Stephen, using his jab to feel out the distance. Compared with Hat 4's previous fight against Stephen Wald, I thought that he was doing a much better job of keeping his left hand by his chin whenever Simon came into range. Hat 4 seemed to be using his jab effectively to keep Simon at distance, although it definitely seemed to lack some speed and snap. But certainly at this early stage of the fight, he doesn't seem to be wasting as much energy by throwing big winging hooks. And dare I say it, but Hat 4's jabs and punches seem to be considerably quicker than they did against Stephen Ward and he seems to be pushing the pace a little bit more. It's good to see Hatfall pour him with his left jab to measure the distance without wasting too much energy. Although he certainly still has a tendency to rush in and throw wild punches, which gives his shorter opponent time to duck underneath. Going just off the first round, there does seem to be some improvements over Hatfall's fight with Steven. Although he does still have a tendency to throw wild shots, which leaves him open for the counter. Hat 4 starts round 2 well enough using the jab to maintain the distance, but as mentioned in the first round he does leave himself open for the left hand over the top. This was a really nicely timed left hand by Simon as we can see in this replay, and it's the first time I've seen Hat 4 staggered or affected by a punch in either this fight or against Stephen Wald. Although Hat 4 isn't seriously affected he was certainly staggered and I think if this wasn't an exhibition fight we would have seen Simon go in to finish Hat 4 off. And there we see Hat 4 caught by exactly the same punch again, and here's a replay of it. I hope this is something that you can fix in training, although I'm not sure whether Eddie has the timing to take advantage of the opening. Although it's great to see Hat 4 throwing punches back and not just covering up. That's a really nice right and left hook that sends Simon falling to the canvas, so I'm absolutely staggered that the referee didn't give this as a knockdown. At this stage of the fight it's becoming obvious that Hat 4 is beginning to suffer fatigue and lactic acid build up as his punches become slightly slower and more laboured and he breathes more heavily. But it's good to see that despite being tired he's still keeping his guard up and keeping his left hand by his chin when Simon's in range. As we come to the closing stages of round 2, it's great to see that this fight's had more action than all three rounds of the previous fight put together. And that brings us to the start of round 3. It's good to see the third round starting off with some action and a good body shot from Simon. And a nice flurry from punches from Hat 4, it's just a shame that none of them landed. That just looks like Hat 4 losing his footing, but here's a replay to confirm it wasn't a knockdown. It's 
Simon nicely slips Hatful straight left and then catches him with a right hook of his own. It looks like Hatful even tries to catch Simon with a cheeky backhander. Nicely done by Hatford to catch Simon with a straight left, but he gets caught by a left of his own. This fight's certainly more exciting than the previous one in which only around 10 punches landed, and it's good to see that Hatford's not gun shy despite being caught with a few shots himself. Hatford did really well to take that right, and a left hook. That's one thing that was very apparent in the Stephen Ward fight, that he does appear to have a decent chin. That brings us to the end of the third round and a quick replay of some of the action from the closing stages. And that brings us to the fourth and final round. With nearly 30 seconds gone in the final round, although a couple of punches being thrown, nothing's landed. With over a minute gone of the final round, there's been plenty of pouring and fainting, but nothing notable has landed. The fourth round's turning out to be very disappointing. It's more like watching a first round with plenty of jabs fading out the distance, but nothing landing. Down to under a minute remaining and Simon's calling hat four on. Let's hope things get going in the closing stages. Nice flurry of punches there, but unfortunately nothing notable landed. Well the fourth round was a bit of a letdown but the previous three rounds weren't bad at all and definitely showed that Hat Four's made some improvements in the speed of his punches and his defence. And as this was Hat Four's last exhibition fight I'm genuinely looking forward to him fighting Eddie Hall on the 18th of September. But I'd really like to know what you guys think so please leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of Hat Four's fight and how you think he's going to do against Eddie. I've left links to everyone's social media in the description below so please check that out and give them a follow. If you enjoyed today's video please help support my channel by smashing like, sharing the video and subscribing. Thank you.